Mmm. Oh, that's absolutely lush. We love that. If you've just joined us, get following, guys. Make sure you've followed Scotty McClue. First rule of the internet, everybody with an internet connection should follow Scotty McClue. We're just heading for 3,000 likes. Fantastic stuff. Uh, so many memories hearing your voice. I used to listen to your phone in. Ah, Mickey, was that not the phone in from phone ins? It's tremendous. Scotty McClue's phone ins have been outstanding for 30 years. Can you believe it? There we are. And uh, there's some new stations opening up. They haven't been in touch yet, but they should be in touch with Scotty McClue because they're talk stations. Yeah, and I think I'm the only actual talk broadcaster that knows how to make that industry work. I uh, hope Rangers do it on Thursday. Yep, absolutely. And uh, I'm on the hoops, I say. Can I bring the phones back soon? Ross, yes, we actually do a phone-in on the internet. If you go to the YouTube channel and you'll see the URL at the top of my bio, then um, you can subscribe and join us for the internet phone-in. Outstanding. Funniest phone in ever was. Oh, Mickey, was that not funny? Was it funny or was it funny? Hey, I ain't got a drop bottom. Don't be ridiculous, love. You make a good burglar. Your backside would wipe out footprints. <laughs> we used to give it all that. Thank you. I missed them in this. Dinky do, Ross. Yes, absolutely. The TikTok is really just to get a worldwide chat with everybody. And the one we're doing right now is the red eye, first thing in the morning. People are obviously dashing in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland to get to their work, Scotland, England, Ireland, and Wales. But we are worldwide, and that's what's lovely. Like a gentleman watching right now from Pakistan, a gentleman watching in Maryland in the USA. I've got 7% of my audience are American. The Americans love it, but right now it's about half past one in the morning. So they're a wee bit dischuffed with that. Now there's Heidek. What nonsense you're talking about today? The other day it was the Royal Family. Heidek, remember we never, ever, 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 ever talk nonsense on Scotty McClue. So if I was talking about the Royal Family, it would be to inform the idiots who are non-royalists for some strange reason Yep, just exactly what really is happening. I'm in Greece and Corfu, Mickey, Yasu, Yasu, Calamera, Calamera, Corfu. And lovely to have you with us. Good morning. Morning, Peter Urain. There we are. So, hi, Deek. Remember, McClue never talks nonsense. Fantastic. Do you remember a presenter on Scottish radio? Do you know where he is? Andy, uh, we fat Bob, I haven't a clue. The last time I saw we fat Bob was um, when he left Scott FM. Well, I didn't even see him there the last time I heard of him. Uh, so there we are. I hope the Queen hangs in there. We love her in America. Leslie, do you know that America wanted its own king after the War of Independence in 1776? And they invited Bonnie Prince Charlie, the Scotsman, Stuart, to be their king. Just amazing. There you are. Yasu to you, Sir Scotty. Yasu, Mr. Mickey. Calamera, Calamera. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. 3,600 likes. You people are beautiful. Fantastic. Heather's just joined us. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We've got another few minutes uh, just popping up to say hi to every single one of you. Absolutely. Uh, good one, Lizzie. I know America loves the monarchy because America would like its own monarchy, even to this day. I think you've got a king there, and I think you've got a king in Donald Trump. Yeah, I know some of you might disagree, but Trump is your man. Follow us, guys. He got a bad press because they ganged up against him because he's too good for America. He makes America too great and too powerful. And uh, that panics people. They tried to make George Washington king. He said no. Well, so did Bonnie Prince Charlie. Bonnie Prince Charlie said no because he was elderly. He died in 1786, 10 years later. And uh, that sort of thing. I think so. Love Trump. Oh, Leslie. Everybody loves the Donald. Let's have it straight. I mean, take a look at the two. Take a look at the Donald. Take a look at Uncle Joe and think. 
what was that election all about? Were we really thinking, you know? Uh, so there we are. So I think you'll find that Donald will be back with you in a couple of years' time and will effectively save the world from what's going on. Trump speaks the truth. He does, Leslie. Absolutely. Yes, he does. He is a truth talker. And in fact, I had that on very, very good authority. Somebody had analyzed everything Donald says, and he speaks the truth. There you go. Double shots. Absolutely. Yep. I like Trump's or silver shoes. Yes, absolutely. Tell us if you're a Trumpian, guys. If you're watching Scotty McClure right now and you're a big fan of the Donald, do pop it down right down. I am a fan of Donald Trump. And uh, let's just see. Is it facts or opinions you always make? Always facts, Heidi. Always facts. That's why. Do you know what I mean? I can give you an opinion on certain things, but I don't waste my time uh, giving you opinions if I give you facts. And then you can learn from McClure. Information, education, entertainment, my trademark over 30 years, 2 billion people are familiar with Scotty McClure. If Trump was in power now, Russia would not be at war. Certainly correct silver shoes. That would have stopped right away. Donald would have stopped it. Hello, it's Mr. Dean with a banjo on his knee. Yes, have you come from Alabama, Mr. Dean? Dean from Alabama. What's up, Scotty? I've missed you. Dean, lovely to have you with us from Alabama, where we've all come from with a banjo on our knee. Oh, Susanna, why won't you marry me? Because I've come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. Silver shoes. Thank you for my beautiful gifts of red roses. How are you doing, Scotty? Dinky do the governor? Fantastic. Just became a top viewer. Fantastic. That's what it's all about. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Dinky do King Wolf. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky do Scotty McClure, first thing in the morning, saying Dinky do to every single one of you. We're only up for a few more minutes. So make sure that you are in there, that you've followed us. Uh, send us likes. You can send us TikToks. Silver Shoes has just sent seven red roses. Isn't that beautiful? A strong American president like Trump kept crazy leaders from pushing everyone around. Leslie, Trump's your man, and he's still your man. I think that man will save the world. Leslie sending me beautiful TikToks. Thank you, Leslie. Appreciated. Two beautiful donuts. I'll have them for my breakfast on here. We love it. In fact, I'm going to come to America and have breakfast. Well said, Leslie, said Silver Shoes. Guys, if you're a Trump fan, do tell us on here. Fantastic. We like to know. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, D132. Guys, everybody watching, please get following as soon as you possibly can because uh, uh, it's very, very important. Mr. Mickey, thank you for my 4,000 likes. Wow, 4,000 likes. Guys, how many TikTok hosts get that first thing in the morning in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland popping up to say hi to the world? How amazing is that? Thank you for following D132. You're a thoroughly decent human being. Everyone with an internet connection should be joining us on TikTok right now and should be following Scotty McClue. There we are. Scotty, are you married? Dean, don't be ridiculous. Who would have me? There we are, Colorado Springs. Howdy, brother. Howdy, howdy, Leo, in Colorado Springs. We love you. We love you guys. Fantastic. Do join us as soon as you can. Druzy boy, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you for all the likes, 4,200 likes. How good is that? We've only got another few minutes, guys, and then I have to disappear into the day or disappear into the night if you're in America. Trump would have been in a plane to Russia. The war would not have happened. Silver Shoes, you're absolutely right. Yeah, Trump would have saved us all this bother just by a phone call. Vladimir, Vladimir, you've got to listen, son. There we are. Let me come over and we'll, uh, we'll sort this. There we are. That's the Donald for you. But then Donald knows how the world actually works. And it's not necessarily the way the mainstream media would like you to think it does. And Donald became a victim